Hey guys, welcome back. It's Grim with another video of Free Shadows, and today we've got a showcase the free champion Lydia. I feel that now she's a plus four. I feel like I need to review my showcase on her. I think she's a great champion, and everyone can obviously get her. So let's get into a build. Let's see what our role is in the team uh, and stuff like that. So first of all, we the aim with Lydia is to keep her alive, obviously. Uh, I just want her to protect the team, really. Uh, so that's why she's in shield set and protection, obviously for the HP, and we've got the the sheep ability as well. Um, honestly, here I just retook these masteries. I just took uh, swipeability masteries uh, and masteries that make sense. Uh, Law still for extra HP, lasting gifts for strength and. Uh, extra HP here and then uh, tough skin extra bit of defense she's got quite a little bit of defense uh, to reduce AOE and stuff like that Hexa if she does get off the A3 or the A1 so the A2 um, so obviously she is uh, a great champion um, yeah all right let's get into a team and let me show her so uh, obviously, I've started using my Lydia a bit more uh, just because lately there's been a lot of revivers in the in the um, arena. Uh, we're going to do a quick one here. So we're just going to go into the next setup. Let's have a look. So we'll turn this camera off and we're going to go in pretty hard. So we're going to start with this team. So it's against Trunda. Uh, we do not want that team and we have a torment as well so torment does cause us a little bit of a problem um, however <coughs> you know I think we'll be okay <coughs> so what we got is we got Lydia's shield here with the sheep so the lead and then we have Brogni in a, in a bolster set and we also have Duchess in a bolster set and we have uh, a, a Rodus who is quite tanky um, Obviously, Rose could die to Trunda right now, so we're going to see if the shield set's big enough. Obviously, Trunda does hit pretty hard, has great multipliers and stuff. She will have attack up. As you can see, we have a really big shield, and Trunda fully uh, kills herself. We block the revive as well. The passive is really nice, honestly. And as you can see, we've still got a lot of HP on people. Uh, we are getting debuffed a little bit by the team, um, so we just gotta have to wait this out a little bit uh, and see if we can survive this uh, wave of CC. So um, again, <coughs> here we go. So we're now able to protect most some of our champions anyway, and I'm hoping we can deal with Arbiter before. Um, before she revives Trunda. So obviously bolster set is a free turn. Um, she's not really built of accuracy just because sheep is a big problem at the moment in the arena. So um, yeah, we, we're also thinking about that as well. So as we can see here, um, there is uh, a bit of stuff going on. Um, but obviously with Brogni has really nice synergy because she has a block revive <coughs> and she also has um, with the, the shield that he puts up, the shield that he puts up that also stacks as well so the shield gets even bigger he can also grow the shield as well which is pretty damn nice um, and also uh, increased speed and strength is super nice the only thing we're missing is increased defense but I mean you can't take it all right um, so yep easy here as you can see uh, we'll avoid this because of Ultimate Death Knight we obviously know that Rose is not great against Ultimate Death Knight uh, and then Taurus is a bit of a pain in us as well so we're, we're gonna skip him we have a really strong candy here so this is a plus four candy um, he might be able to get through the shield set there's quite a bit of sheep going on and we also have a Necrid as well. So I think we'll just have to be careful here. Um, 
so yeah obviously if you can build really good shield sets uh, and stack them that really helps as you can see he's also using uh, the shield set I mean my Dutch is a little bit slower because of other teams that's why this team doesn't really get tend to use together a lot uh, we're gonna try and do this but yeah it gets resisted because we've got hardly anything on our uh, Lydia so uh, obviously I don't want her to um, get messed up don't need resistance obviously because um, bolster can't be removed which is super nice you can see the size of the shield which is just on Lydia it's absolutely insane uh, she's now going to take a turn and get an increased speed up and shield up which is nice we took a bit of damage from candy which is um, a little bit interesting to see um, oh well she's actually gone cool I did not see that one coming but it's, it's clearly a really strong candy it's a plus four candy so candy can be really difficult um, most of the time I would have Baron this use Baron anyway um, but I do feel for this as you can see Rolus is surviving like a boss so far so good from Rolus so there is a double revive in here which is gonna obviously slow us down and I think to be honest because we lost Dutchess we're probably gonna lose this now but I just want to see uh, where we go with this really um, so I'm going to try and take out Dutchess nearly not too bad we lost we have um, quite a bit of damage there which is not too shabby and obviously if we can get Dutchess down we can block that revive which would be super nice because Duchess would then come back up uh, doo -doo -doo. I used to use Lydia a lot when I first got her okay so we just lost uh, Redus it's a strong candy if I'm honest it's a really good built candy for sure um, so we have some a little bit of annoying teams we have Ultimate Death Knight again. Seems to be everywhere these days. We have a Taurus. Uh, okay, so we have Mortimer Car. We're going to have to swap out here for our Baron. And to see if we can get lucky. So Baron is really, really squishy. Um, so we're, we're going to be relying on the Veils as well. However, I do feel that we might be able to get some pick off here. Uh, as you can see Baron stays alive normally if you don't have like a decent set there Baron would probably go down uh, we don't want to do too many AoEs against multi macabre for sure because we know how dangerous he can be and then we're gonna come in with this big nuke in a minute and see and as you can see the we survive a peril which is really hard to do and I take him out pretty damn nice. And now we just gotta wait out the stone skin. Um, as you can see, the shield is absolutely giant. So uh, we just gotta wait for this now. And uh, yeah, um, I really like Lydia. Does she have a future in arena? Yes. Should you use her for arena? Yes. I think if you also build some accuracy in her set. You could also use her for Doom Tower. Um, I couldn't just change my chess every few days to do all that. Uh, do, 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 do. We have a Warlord down the bottom, which I don't really fancy playing with. So Warlord is obviously a huge. Yanako is also huge. Uh, you don't really want to play against them. Bobby, I know very well. Do 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 do. I think we can take uh, Skipper on here. He's got a candy as well. Mm, I'm a really yeah so I obviously I use uh, Lydia a lot in Hydra I don't really use her in Hydra now so this is why I'm kind of thinking mainly for free versus free this team will do really well it's got great survivability as you can see we're not being sheet uh, which is nice and our um, shield sets doing really nice so he survived unfortunately 
she survived unfortunately the nuke which is a bit a bit um a bit annoying for sure and we just gotta wait the stone skin to run out on ultimate death knight and necrid mm, will i be using this team more yes i do actually i'm actually a big fan of this and i do feel on certain teams i could use this way more uh, again especially for free versus free uh, probably for offense though I think if you was to do it, use this on defense and how high I am I think you just warlord it if I'm honest um, obviously we have a nice revive we then block the revive there which actually really uh, stops the grind and then the shields go back up Oh, we're just really unlucky there. Mr. Candy. So obviously you can use more tanky nukas as well. So like Rose. Uh, if there's not an ultimate death knight Rose for sure. Uh, Mortu Macabre would be great. This candy is going to cause us a bit of an issue. Um, however, I think we'll be fine. I think we should be able to take him out pretty soon and I should be able to bring Baron up to clean up which we just gotta wait one turn mm. and then we hit auto so Candy's gone two minute fight not too bad um, obviously we have to be the arena is very strong at the moment with a lot of champions but for sure uh, bombs you wouldn't really have to worry about so much as well because the bolster set is pretty big um, The only person might go down is Baron from that So that could catch people off guard There's a lot of people are uh, running stone skin uh, I, real f I do feel we could possibly beat this uh, and so There is a Rolus plus 4 which is the off-putting bit about this do, 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 do. I don't really have a rose killer at the moment. Uh, yeah, we'll just give this a go. So we have uh, no negative infinity because I think I was using Rodus. We have got a rose though, so this will be surprising because he's re uh, really good against Baron. So if we lose this, it's going to be for that reason. It just depends on RNG. Obviously, Baron ignores shield, which is nice. Uh, so that is one thing to take a note of. Baron and the Nutcracker will ignore the um, stone skin on the ordinate side of the, the shield set, unfortunately. Um, however, I don't feel like a lot of people have them. I don't think, I think a lot of people are using Nutcracker as well way more. So, as you can see, we take him out pretty comfortably. That Rose is actually really good. I nearly one shot us. Uh, no, actually, not not really that far. Um, <coughs> and then we just gotta see just to finish this, this Duchess off. Mm -mm -mm, can we do this? I really like Weather as well. Still using Weather. And as you can see, Brogni is actually holding up like a beast here. I'm really a big fan of uh, Brogni. The harder the hit is, the better it is as well. So there's a lot of debuffs there. So he's got strengthen up. Uh, and there's also increased defense there. Uh, do we do, and there's a full heal there, which is uh, a bit unfortunate. And I'm hoping Brogni's going to have his shields up shortly. Ah, there we are. Just like so. And now we just need to wait for this big boy nuke. From uh, Mr. Baron. If Rodus doesn't kill him. Obviously this fight gets more dangerous as it goes on. Because of the Rodus. And this is a Rose plus four, so um, I'm not actually that disappointed if we lose this. Lydia's passive will come back in at some point. 
think she's probably got a few turns to go. Two and a half minutes. I mean, this is a rose plus four. And I think I'm pretty sure he's fully awakened. Should be able to take up touches. Doesn't. Cool. We're going to get a tack up on our Baron. Can we take out this Dutch? It's going to be a strengthen. Oh. Yeah, it's going to let us down huge. Yeah, we really needed that nuke just there and then. Okay, cool. Um, I think, to be honest, Rose has got this now. If I'm honest. Which is a bit of a bummer. There's the block revive. Okay, so three and a half minutes against Aurelius. Not too shabby. Mm. Okay, is there anyone else we can really take on? There's a lot of plus champions. Here we are. We could take this guy. No, got Kai Marks. Could sleep me. So, yeah, as you can see, we have to be a little bit picky, unfortunately. Again, we have another multi macabre here. Uh, I think the strengthen does a lot from Lydia, so it's definitely worth doing that A3. Even so, I think with how much damage he would do, uh, that's a very fast Leo. Uh, Lane, that's a huge shield on our Duchess. Absolutely huge. Ah, Leo. And you see how squishy uh, how squishy Baron is. So we're not going to do the A2. Uh, by the way, um, it is worth no noting that uh, um, Baron is, sorry, Brogni and Dupree is really bad against um, against uh, Motu Macab. So probably want to swap some out. I mean, we could use my Crisk, for example, which would work really well. Duchess is gone. That's a sad, sad moment. Uh, so there's the shield. We have to put a shower for up. Grow the shield. Oh, lovely. Oh, we're gonna go back in there and we're gonna use uh Rodus. So where was it? Mm, this one. We're gonna use Rodus. Because Rodus is probably better for this. Can also ignore um Leo as well. Leo's passive. It will give us more to survive. Again, a boring thingy, which is my fault. Mm -mm -mm. Again, survive the passive. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Nearly one shot him there, which is nice. I think Leo might actually get a little bit lucky here and take us out on an AoE. Mm-hmm. Doesn't. So I have Leo's AoE. Now Leo is a good hitter. So it's nice to see. We'll take out the revive first. Uh, and then as you can see they got the peril up from the passive of Brogni because we're not hit him. Um except from the Lily A3. So that's something we need to be careful of. Obviously, when I use Brogni, but again, Krisk is someone we can use in bet who is better. And I feel with this and the shrimp from back up, we should be able to keep our Duchess up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
when you're ready, Russ. Hello, beautiful. Uh, let's try and I don't know. I might. I want to try to take him out there, but I'm actually gonna go there, and then I'm gonna play the A1. We'll play this weak hit, lovely jubbly. Leo can't do his AOEs, which is nice. We're gonna take out Leo there. Shields back up, and Redis is gonna clean up. Lovely jubbly. Mm mm mm. As you can see, there's not really many teams that we can play with. We could probably take this guy out. So, um, I, got, I can take him out with both different teams. Mm -mm -mm, which we're not showcasing right now. Mm. Okay, so, uh, triple revive here. We have a single target damage dealer. So, again, this is perfect for us. We're going to drop uh, Brogdon into Priest there, not to cause us any issues. And we're going to bring in my favorite champion in the game, Mr. Chris, who is also in a bolster set as well. And as you can see, Rodas looks like he has about 20,000 HP right now, which is not actually the case. Obviously, a big thank you there for the AoE. We've got a lot of protection and everything coming up. And they're so fast, I've outrun the boss. So it's gonna allow me to trigger the revive from Duchess in a minute. Oh, okay. So it was actually Python who triggered the revive. Which is super good. So now, I know to focus on taking out these two champions here. So I'm gonna A1. I'm gonna let uh, C feet. Oh, okay. So then we're going to that ability. And we're going to that ability. And we know now that he's done his revive already. So I've got a few turns to try and block him out. Now you could build the the main one to uh, you could also build Lydia's A3 with some accuracy to work as like a second ability to be honest um, so yeah there we are guys uh, Lydia and the passive make sure you use her don't sleep on her great champion um, there's the build I suggest I think she's a great, great champion. These are stats. I mean, I could build probably more HP if I wanted to in a bolster set, but uh, it wasn't really needed. She's a plus four. Obviously, her gear is not ascended, so that could also probably bring in, take her up to like 140, and she's not also fully glyphed uh, as well, so that could also help as well. Let me know down in the comments in... Uh, in the comments what you use Lydia for do you use an arena or so like that make sure you give this video a like and a comment and go and check out my other videos within Hydra that we use Lydia in sometimes and um, yeah uh, really really good champion uh, anyway enjoy this video and I'll see you on the next one